The new Apple M4 Mac Mini has been pretty soundly lauded by people who reviewed it or tested it as a nicely redesigned product that's, you know, low on power consumption and high on performance relative to its size. Also, when various YouTubers and even iFixit uh, started tearing down the Mac Mini, they discovered that there was removable storage, which was a surprise and everyone was pretty delighted. Uh, it appeared to be that the instead of soldering the storage NAND chips on the, the motherboard like Apple has been doing, and several other manufacturers do as well, they've actually put it in a little M2-style board that you can remove. So everybody was rather excited that this seemed to be a, an easy way to perhaps upgrade the, the storage on your newly purchased device. However... Some, some clarity came about when we discovered that, in fact, DOSDude1, a YouTuber who does a lot of Mac projects, including patches to allow older Macs to run newer, unsupported operating systems, actually went as far as upgrading a base model M4 Mac Mini to, I think it was one terabyte of storage from the two standard 256. Now, it should be clear that he did it by actually desoldering the original chips and replacing them with bigger chips and then going into something called DFU mode to restore the Mac mini operating system. That's not something I would try. <laughs> you have to be pretty handy with a, with, with soldering techniques to do that. Uh, but it was impressive. I mean, it worked. What, what we're talking about is everybody sort of wondered if it would be easily replaceable by, you know, just pulling it off the shelf. Uh, SSD drive and replacing it that way. Well, apparently not, because Apple is has made this a proprietary setup. While the the um, the NAND chips are actually on a little M2 style uh, board, it's actually more of a daughter board. So usually, if you buy uh, an SSD storage device like this, it has the controller and the NAND chips on the board. On the Mac Mini, the controller for the storage is still on the SOC board, the main board, and the little daughter board, the, the board that you can remove, is actually just the NAND chips themselves. So it's not something where you could go buy a Western Digital Drive or something and just plop it in there and get it to work. So, well, it's interesting that they've chosen, chosen to do that, and iFixit gave them a pretty positive review for doing that. It's not something where it's going to be easy or probably cheap to upgrade. Apple is pretty notorious for charging an arm and a leg for both RAM and additional additional RAM and additional storage. So if, if they come up with SKUs for additional storage, I'm sure it's not going to be cheap. We may get to the stage down the road where third-party uh, suppliers will provide suitable storage chips that we can add in. But uh, right now, that's that's not a thing. So what, what sounded like initially a pretty exciting change is not quite as exciting but it's it's still it's still good it's positive so i just wanted to clarify that um initially a lot of people were getting excited about the ability to upgrade the storage after the fact but it looks like it's not gonna be quite as elegant a solution as we, we maybe first thought sorry that's apple for you